Who really sent the Stan text message on Gabby's phone? I break it all down in today's video. Welcome back to the channel everybody where we cover murder, mystery, to the paranormal. Okay, so we know Gabby's mother received an odd text from her daughter on August 27th, which on this date is also when the incident at the Mary Piglets happened. I believe Brian and Gabby were there for lunch and something happened. Brian was not happy with the service there and he made a big scene and was very aggressive. Apparently from reports, he actually left and came back four times causing trouble and poor Gabby was trying to apologize to the staff and then they eventually left. So the same couple who witnessed this incident at the Mary Piglets also claims to have seen Brian and Gabby's van approximately two hours later to the north of the town at a campsite in the Grand Teton area. So now would be mid to late afternoon and Gabby's mother receives a text. The text reads, Can you help Stan? I just keep getting his voicemails and missed calls. Okay, so we will break this text down into three sections. First one, can you help Stan? Second is, I just keep getting his voicemails. Third is, and missed calls. So starting at the end, the third section, missed calls, Gabby is saying, I just keep getting my grandpa's missed calls. So her grandpa probably had been trying to call her more than once. Okay, so now the second section. I just keep getting his voicemails. Now voicemails being plural, it could mean she is receiving voicemails from her grandpa, which could be the case. But I think it really is saying, I call my grandpa, but it goes to his voicemail and she tries multiple times and that is why it is plural. Okay, so after dissecting the last two sections, we discover Gabby is wondering what grandpa wants, but she can't get a hold of him. So on to the first section, can you help Stan? This is a request from Gabby to her mother saying, hey, can you see what grandpa wants? So why does she use the word Stan instead of grandpa? When we're mad at someone we love like mom, dad, son, we call them by their name, sometimes their first name, or we use the first, middle, and last, and that's when we're really mad. When you hear your middle name, okay, so why would she be mad at her grandpa? Well, I think at this point, Brian and Gabby just came from the Merry Piglets and everything is at a boiling point. They're probably still arguing, and so Gabby is mad and frustrated and sees that she got missed calls from her grandpa, and so she tries calling him back, but it goes to his voicemail. And she tries again, and the same thing. It goes to voicemail. So she keeps getting his voicemails, plural. And so along with this negative emotion she's going through with Brian, she sends a text to her mom using her grandpa's first name, Stan, in frustration because she's mad, she can't get a hold of him. And there you have it. Now we can also compare it to a text from her phone that we know wasn't from Gabby, which is no service in Yosemite. Real short and not specific. Whereas the other text is specific and has structure to it that relates more to Gabby than to Brian. Although an odd text in her mother's view, I think this was probably Gabby's last message, sadly. This is all speculation, of course. Let me know who you thought sent the text message and why. I would love to hear your theories. Please subscribe and leave a like. Please take a look at today's missing person poster. Take care of yourselves and tell someone you love them. Thank you.